movies like a man called Otto, it, it sort of confounds me. Look, where do you put it? 22 or 23? Because it was released for a few days in it, around Christmas time. They want to get it in there for the Tom Hanks Oscar nod, see if they can't get him nominated or something. And then it's made wider in the next year. They, that ha this happens all the time. Personally, it's a 2023 movie. They didn't have the balls to actually release it for 2022. There we go. Come here. Come here, dumb bird. Here. There you go. All righty. So let's actually talk about, by the way, Twiddles, the world, world Twiddles. Um, <laughs> Twiddles mad. Anyway, uh, the movie is, uh, goodness, the movie is. How do you start a freaking review about it? Okay, so Tom Hanks plays a very grumpy guy. That's basically it. He does not like humanity. As a matter of fact, he calls a lot of humanity idiots throughout the in, uh, in length of the runtime. And he's not wrong. <laughs> Seriously. First, you see him. He's going about his business, walking around his little neighborhood. He's making sure all the locks are locked. He's making sure the gates are gated and so forth and so on. He shovels his uh, he shovels the snow off of his front stoop and stuff. And it, it's it's a ritual for him. You'll see him do this, and he meets a lot of the people around the neighborhood while he's doing this. And you get to know the character just through his actions like that. This is a guy who is um, very regimented. It was his wife who was the fun one. He was He's the stickler. He's the stiff, stiff one. We first see him as he's cutting rope at a store. And some kid comes up, oh, wait, 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 let us help it. And he's like, you don't think I can cut rope? You know, that kind of thing. So he really is kind of playing, you know, this grumpy guy. And one day across the street, he, uh, new neighbors come in, a family, mom, a dad, who's a little bit less of a handyman than the generation before him. And I think this is part of the story it's a very generational story it's uh and look i get it because i you know 52 years old i see the generation coming up i'm like you know what i've never been a tough guy but the generation behind me is making me seem like one you know so i get what we're seeing here <laughs> um at one point in time oh by the way i guess i should say and this is a little bit spoiler literally but otto because his wife died, wants to go with her. So the rope was to hang himself. It fails. As a matter of fact, it, every attempt fails. He decides he's going to step in front of a, um, a subway train or a, an elevated train. And he's standing there. As, and while he does that, some guy actually kind of passes out and falls onto the tracks. And immediately, immediately, all these young people pop out their phones, but what they don't do is they don't jump into the tracks. Otto looks at him, just goes, idiots. And he's, like I said, he's calling people idiots all throughout the thing. And he jumps onto the tracks, saves this guy, and he becomes sort of a local hero, we find out, through a, uh, an influencer. And with that, with the people moving, um, moving in, in, uh, in across the street, you start to see the uh the grinch's heart <laughs> decreased three sizes you know so forth so on um and that's the story you've seen it before you know the the cold guy learns to be warm but this one i gotta say this one's done well this one is is done well i like this film i like tom hanks in it i like the characters that move in i like the dad who's a little bit more playful than the mom because i'm in that relationship for 30 years i've been in that relationship i'm the one that tells the jokes and throws the kids around and makes them laugh. Makes my, my, my wife takes a lot of stuff very serious. So whenever I can make her laugh, that's great. And that is the relationship of these people across from Otto. We meet a whole bunch of other characters and it's, it, it really is, it's not an ensemble piece, but everybody just plays their part perfectly. Is it a perfect movie? No, I'm not saying that. It is a good movie, however. It is a good one. I don't know where I'm landing this one, if it's a B or a B plus, but I do recommend you go check it out. Have yourself a good time. It's going to make you feel good. That's the kind of movie it is. You know, even though, oh, what? Nope. Um, you know, it's going to make you feel good. But uh, there you go, guys. 
that's my opinion. What is yours? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. Um, leave a comment in the comments. Uh, tell me something. Don't just say hello. Don't just say, you know, give me a little, uh, I, I would like to see it. I don't want to see it. This is what I'm looking forward to. This is what I think of movies like this. You know, uh, speak to us a little bit. That'd be awesome. I want to learn you guys' opinion on stuff like this. Also, don't forget to click like and share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'd like to thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of our fellow film fans out there, thank you very, very much for watching. Have a good day.